Hi, I'm Jenna Alexander. I have an art studio in St. Augustine, Florida. I'm a fine artist and photographer. I was just always really, really drawn to art. And then in high school, you know, I was applying for colleges and I was, you know, I had a lot of voices in my life telling me, I don't know, maybe you should pursue something else. Just looking out for me, like, it's kind of rough out there being an artist. Get used to saying, would you like fries with that? And I was a psychology major until my junior year and, a, and an art minor. And then my art professor was like, why are you not doing art full time? Like, why is this just your minor? And he asked me, like, why are you a psych major? And I didn't have an answer. So I decided then and there to change my, my major to art. And I graduated with a BA in art and fine art focused in painting. So I spent a year in Tanzania teaching at an orphanage and so it's like on the equator, right? So it, the sun rises at six and sets at six. But when it gets dark, the um, Mzingus, or the white people, you're, it's not really like safe to go out and be out at dark. So I had my laptop and from six to like 11 every night, I would just edit photos because I would take lots of pictures. It kind of all happened at once. I got married, moved up to St. Augustine, and I had the opportunity to open my own studio. But I have a big series based off all the kids I taught called Even Me, and it's all their faces, and um, eventually when I sell the whole collection, the money is gonna go back to the kids. And I photographed each kid right before I left and painted their face. And so each, um, this is wood, it's Luan, and then with gesso and it's oil. And then the sides are all framed with unique fabric called Katenge, and it's like the local fabric that all the mamas like wrap their babies in on their back and walk to the market, and they put, they do everything with this fabric. How did I get my foot in the door? With, in St. Augustine? I married the best guy I know. Um, <laughs> I did, it's who I married really, Zay Alexander. I married him and he's born and raised here and he invited me to come up for an art show and it was at the old Anchor Boutique on St. George Street. I'm like, this is great. I think like Matt Pond was playing. So I met the artist, she's a jeweler and it was like a one-time thing. And then when he proposed, I decided to get my jewelry done from her. So after I moved up here and Zay and I got married, um, she called me out of the blue and she asked me to be her partner and I was like, this is... Yeah, sure, like, why not? What do my husband said, like, rent, the total rent for the whole year is like 7,500, and if that's all we lose, like, that's not that big of a deal. So that's what he said. He put it in that, like, worst case scenario. I was like, okay. After realizing that retail wasn't really for me, and I had to be there certain hours, and then shoot weddings on the weekends, and the kids, and then my art, um, I decided that I should move over to the place that my parents had just bought, and they had big dreams for renovating this building and making it kind of um, commercial on the bottom and residential on the top two floors. Decided to have Juniper Market here too, and it was a really neat idea because Juniper Market, there's so much foot traffic. She has so many wonderful clients and people love her stuff. And then my studio is set up with huge windows. You can always see what I'm doing. Sometimes I feel like I'm on like an exhibit. <laughs> I feel like I'm like an animal at the zoo because people will walk in and just kind of look and I'll wave. Art in front of people is kind of intimidating because they're seeing the middle stages, not, they're walking in at the middle stage or the beginning and who knows what judgments they might have and they might not ever come back to see the final thing. But sometimes I have these really cute kids come up and they put their face on the glass and they're just, their eyes are huge and they're so excited that they're watching a real life painter and it makes me feel good because I'm like, yeah, you can do this too. There's something about St. Augustine that just like breeds creativity. And even though people who aren't the business owners, they're people who come in and support us all. And it is something special. It's amazing.